When I was younger, there was a TV show called Cribs, and it would show you, crib being the word for, the slang term for house, palatial estate, and you would go into a famous person in the home and they would show you around. And they'd show you the five swimming pools, the 12 car garages, the uh, open spaces, the indoor pools, everything like that. And I loved watching that to see where these people live. And I always dreamed, oh, maybe I'll get a house like that one day. Well, the house is a little different behind us. It's still great, though. Maybe we'll have a crib zeps. No, no, never mind. But if we think about what Jesus says in the gospel today, foxes have dens and birds of the sky have nests, but the Son of Man has nowhere to rest his head. What if we did a cribs for Jesus? Where would we be? Well, crib in Bethlehem. We can go there still, but that was for a small period of time. Where do we know that Jesus stayed? Did it ever say in the gospel, and then he went to his home? I don't think so. We know he stayed with Mary and Martha and Lazarus for a few times. But like, where is his home? We don't know. There's a little cave on the side of the mountain where the Beatitudes were, of, were thought to have been preached. There's a little message in the gospel that says he spent the night in a little cave and so there's a cave there that they think that he stayed in. We know he was in the desert for 40 days. He had nowhere to rest his head. Brothers and sisters, what Jesus is telling these disciples who are following him is that you are not guaranteed anything in this life. I don't care if you follow me or not. Look at me. I don't have the creature comforts. When he's saying about let me go and the one disciple says, let me go first and bury my father. Jesus says something very, seems to us very crude. Let the dead bury their dead. What he's saying is family and home, whether you follow me or not, are not guaranteed. They're beautiful, they're wonderful blessings, but they're not guaranteed in this life. Nothing in this life can be guaranteed. Everything in the next can be guaranteed, and that's why we follow him. That's why we give up house and home and the creature comforts to follow him because what is promised in the next world is guaranteed. And so if we do not live for that life but live for this one, we will not attain that one. But if we live for the next world in this world, we will attain that and so much more. Praise be Jesus Christ, now and forever.